Hey everybody, my name is Jordan Evans, and today I'm gonna to be talking about using a Pomodoro to practice piano, or this is something that can be applicable to anything. A uh, Pomodoro is simply just a way to hone in our focus so that if you're studying a language or studying for a test or writing a paper, creating something or practicing an instrument, we can be making the most of our time. So essentially what a Pomodoro is, is where we have a certain amount of time set to doing a task, and then we have a certain amount of time that we plan on taking a break for. And in this manner, we're not just saying, all right, I'm gonna practice for two hours, but during that two hours, I might be on my phone a little bit, or I might talk to a friend, or I might watch TV while I'm playing, which would be insane. <laughs> but, um, so a traditional Pomodoro is 25 minutes on, five minute break. And so for this, we can take a seemingly incomprehensible task like practicing for three hours and we can break it down into manageable sections. So, and I'll talk about that more when I show you my film, my footage from earlier this morning. Um, but so through this, yeah, we can break it down into manageable sections and we can also take care of our mind by taking breaks. Um, and then also with this, if I can in a two hour period get a lot of work done, I can feel very good about myself and be more, um, feel more likely to take a break later. And so that's, this is also a good method to avoid burnout. I know for myself, I'll be like, I need to be practicing nonstop. I gotta practice eight hours a day. But if I can get a two really good two hour practice in that in the morning, the, um, that same day in the evening, I'll feel very confident about what I did that morning and I'll feel likely to give myself a break. And so just real quickly, a few things that we can do to help control our focus, because I know, especially in our society with instant gratification and we always have distractions available, we have not spent any time um, practicing using our focus. And so this Pomodoro technique is used to hone in that. So at first, if you wanna just set, have 10 minutes focused on doing a task and take a five minute break, do that. Or if you wanna do even five minutes on a task and then take a two minute break, but eventually work your way up to 25 minutes in the task and then a five minute break. And I promise you, the first time you'll do it, you'll feel like, oh, I wanna check my phone real quick. But no, you got your 25 minute timer on. And yeah, some other things we can do to practice our focus is make sure that we are treating our body with respect. So getting plenty of sleep, resting, having recreation, exercising, um, eating healthy. Um, some foods will actually stimulate your mind while some foods will fog your mind. Um, drinking plenty of water that fuels you. I um, mean, yeah, like treat your body like you would treat your car, like you wanna give it the right fuel and maintenance. And so that will all contribute to a greater level of focus. So in my Pomodoros, I spent 25 minutes doing my task, five minutes doing a break. And I work at an awesome building. And this is where I normally practice piano, but I also practice at my school, which is in a great location. And so the school that I attended and got my bachelor's degree from, I still go there a lot and practice on their pianos because I don't have my own uh, grand piano right now. And I like playing on grand pianos. And so here I'm in such a cool environment. I'm in the heart of downtown Anderson and I have a really cool building. So whenever I take my breaks, I like to do something that stimulates me. I actually work in an art building. So I'll spend time perusing the different art exhibits and there's sculptures around here or I'll take a um, moment and take a walk outside. I don't like to spend my five minute break doing something that removes me from my creative uh, mindset. I just like to do something that takes my mind away from piano, but is still stimulating to my brain. So yeah, looking at art or spending some time outdoors or even going into the uh, studio next door and speaking with uh, one of my friends. So yeah, these are all things that we can do to keep our mind rested, but also focused on our task. And it's also something that we need to be really diligent about planning. So take the time, make your notes, and write out goals that you want to achieve, like that in this next week, what are things that I want to do? In the next few months, what do I want to do? In the next year, what do I want to do? And as you start to see those goals, envision yourself in the future, and then from there, we can break it down into manageable pieces. So every day we have a two hour Pomodoro that we can conquer that will eventually lead us to our goals down the road and help us become who we want to be. And I'm going to be doing four Pomodoros right now. Um, it's early in the morning, that's why my voice is. Um, the first one, I have been really out of jazz piano, so I picked out a jazz exercise that looks like it's kind of stride 
with lots of legato, fast hand movement, and the left hand jump. So I'm gonna take 25 minutes to learn that one, take a five minute break. And then my second Pomodoro, I have an RCM level three book that I'm just gonna spend 25 minutes sight reading through. And then for my sec third and fourth Pomodoros, I have two chunks of music that I wanna learn from a RCM level nine piece. It's the ending and then there's a really, really challenging part in the middle. So I'll be spending 25 minutes in each of these sections and then taking five minute breaks. I'm gonna time lapse it all so you can see it and I'll let you know my progress afterwards. So I finished my first Pomodoro, and it was from this book, Jazz Piano Technique. And I really just kind of picked a, a piece out. It was an etude, and it was a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. And I will not lie, uh, midway through, I was feeling very, I guess, unfocused. I just was like, oh my gosh, I can't keep doing this. And I was playing on that piano right there. And that's an older piano. The left-hand action, which this piece is jumping all over the place, it is very, the keys are sticky, and so I'm playing with my poor pinky, and I can't hardly push the notes down. So I moved to a different piano, and so I'm gonna show you what I got for that last one. It was a, and it's all mixolydian scales, and so I'm so used to playing the traditional I.O. But they're all mixolydian. So descending the fingering is different than a traditional Ionian scale, which kind of threw me off, but I was able to learn about 16 measures during my 25 minute practice. I thought I would be able to learn the whole thing, but I was only about halfway through. All right, this is what I got. piece of music for me and in a 25 minute window I was able to get a lot more done than I might have if I didn't set that goal for myself to practice for 25 minutes because that really was a strenuous piece to play left hand especially on that piano with a difficult left hand action but sweet I'm gonna go ahead and go into my next Pomodoro which is just gonna be sight reading for 25 minutes Five minutes of sight reading and I just have this Masterworks RCM3 book. So I mean yeah the pieces like I can learn these pieces in five minutes but I'll just pick a page hang on just to show you my progress. I have a new tripod today trying to that. Halfway through my 25 minutes, I was like, I'm kind of bored of this. But yeah, that's why it's great having the 25 minutes to keep you accountable and you can focus so hard on that and make sure you're getting something done. But awesome, next I'm on to my first section of a Mozart piece I'm working on. I'm 
Commodore 3 has been finished and I'm actually trying to get more out. My attention span is very weak. Um, and I've even been using my iPad at the time, when my, so I'm not distracted to use my phone at all. And the other thing, this room is really cold for some reason this morning. So my hands are just really starting playing the piano, but I am dedicated to finishing my Pomodoros. All right, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I learned about 18 measures in that 25 minutes. Not great, but let's see what I can do from them. So yeah, for that 25 minutes, I was just practicing. I worked my way backwards. So I started with the finale. Practiced that, and then I just worked my way back. Once I was comfortable with every measure, I played through it about three or four times. And I'll show you what I got. A lot of this is repeated material from earlier, just adaptations of it. So tomorrow, if I do another Pomodoro, I can spend 25 minutes polishing up what I've just learned. But all right, I'm gonna go into my fourth and final Pomodoro, and then I'm gonna take a very long break <laughs> before I make this video, which will be technically two more Pomodoros is what I plan on spending on editing the video. But awesome, let's go into number four. pretty wore out. Um, my focus is waning for sure. So yeah, this is definitely something I want to keep doing because I feel like I got a lot done, but I'm going to have to really train my focus muscle to be able to make it through a full two hours of this, which I know sounds really pathetic. But all right, here is the, this is mid, midway through the piece. It's a really challenging part. I learned it a little bit already. I just wanted to polish it up. So here it goes. So yeah, having that deep level of focus really did help me out. Sweet, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, musicianship and music theory is definitely my main focus, but through that I'm working on how to become the best person I can be and how to be more productive and how to increase my focus and get more done. And so I hope this video is able to help you guys learn some of the things that I've been learning. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a nice week.